He's going to settle over there into the red corner. You're telling the tape up on the screen. A couple of young guns, 17 against the 21 year old. Again, a catch weight at 130. Height and reach about the same. A little bit of an advantage there on the reach for Jay. Let's go to Wayne and we get these official Ladies fighter and introductions. The following contest brought to you by Howlerhead Whiskey is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series at a catch weight of 130 pounds. Introducing your first competitor, fighting out of the blue corner. Representing next generation, this mixed martial artist stands five feet, eight inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 129.4 pounds. Fighting out of Frisco, Texas, by way of Liberia, Africa. His amateur record stands at one win, no losses. Here is Mo Money, Mohammed Trawali. <laughs> and introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Representing Next Level Training Center and MMA, this freestyle fighter stands five feet nine inches tall, and he weighed in at a perfect 130 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, his amateur record stands at one win, no losses. Here is Jay Crap Aldredi. Your referee in charge, Patrick Patlon. All right, fight is underway. Aldredi in the red. Trawali is going to be in the blue gloves. Crack already switching stances. Yes, yeah, had success with kicks from both stances. He got right in a range for Muhammad to throw something and ducked and tried to counter with an overhand. Really good vision here from Jay. Nice high kick there from Trawali. Oof, both guys yeah. land the low kicks at the same time. That can be very painful. Nice to see Trawali attacking the liver with a straight right once Jay goes southpaw. Both guys really good at just sliding right out of range. Oh, nice 3 2. Big Jay's right got, hand lands there. Jay had Muhammad stunned for just a moment. It was a really clean left hook, straight right, and there it was again. One thing Jay can do very well is keep uh, his opponents right at the end of his punches, really maximizing that whip-like effect with the strikes. It looks like he's maybe going to go for a jump knee with did, Jay. Uh, did. That's what it looked like. Trawali trying to hit that jab and level change there. Both kind of bounced oh. off the cage. Yeah, a little flicking front kick there. Nice low kick there from Muhammad. Nice right hand. Lands Jay's that got same him out right on his hand. Feet. He's on his back. Looks like he's going to lock in that the hooks and maybe go through a naked choke. You see Muhammad's really grabbing that hand. He needs to. There's a lot of time for Jay to sink this choke in. Crack. Not quite under the chin. Muhammad did a good job reversing position, but man, Jay had him almost out on his feet. Which is a laser beam of a right hand. Like, let that go to show you. You don't have to super load up on shots. And Jay threw a really crisp, just two down the pipe. Hit him right on the chin and had Muhammad on skates. If I've learned anything watching a Dustin Poirier fight, when a, when a fighter grabs his shorts right before he engages <laughs> with you, a big shot's probably coming. Right before he did that, he adjusted the shorts. Big three, big two. Lands a powerful right hand. A little bit of a grappling exchange between both gentlemen. Back up to the feet now. Trawali trying to press already against the cage. Yeah, props to Muhammad for, for recovering as well as he did. I mean, those were two really good right hands. Round, round one action is over. Great round in the books there. Let's see these highlights. I mean, the highlights got to be the right hands of 
jailed already. Yeah, the first one stunned Muhammad for just a moment. That second one, however, was damaging. It's our early high kick. Notice the feints of Algaretti, he'll kind of faint in. And then when, when he throws that left hook, you don't know if he's fainting or jabbing or changing that angle. Really sharp. There's the tug of the shorts, boom, boom. The first one, yep. just kind of had him on, on skates. It's the second one that really gets him to take that little half squat. It's coming right up with this front kick. There's the shorts, yep. Bang, had him surfing. Man, props to Muhammad Shawali for recovering like he did both times. Just went right back into offense and routing. All right, second round action, moments away. Both guys still incredibly fresh going into the second round. All right, round two underway. Jay already having some fun in there. <laughs> he hit with an inside kick and that smile yeah, went away no, real quick. Went away instantly, yep. Oh, he returns with a high kick. And give a kid like Jay five years and 15 fights and be one of the most dangerous like 23 year olds here in Houston. And he's got a tall order tonight here in Muhammad Trawali. Trawali yeah, undefeated himself, a little bit older, and just the growth from the age of 17 to 21. You might as well be 10 years, because you really start to develop. But man, but Jay seems to have the, the sharper striking technique, and has had answers for every grappling exchange. I know Jay did wrestle, but I think does wrestle, still in the high school years. Trawali just head position, just pressuring already into the cage here. Looking for his opportunity to take this fight to the ground. Nice, good break, Ray. Rose the moment. Jay pummeled the underhook. Muhammad just didn't want to risk a reversal, so he backed off. There's, oh, that's kind of the difference in the striking. Jay's real sharp. Oh, big left hook there for Muhammad. I was going to say, Jay's really sharp with the straight shots, but Muhammad's throwing those big shots over the top. They're a little easier to see coming, but when they land, man, do they do damage. Big level change and drive to the cage here from Trawali. Yeah, actions like that, though, they'll, they'll, they'll take a lot of the fuel out of the gas tank. And if you don't have a takedown to show for it, it's often not worth it. However, Muhammad did land a really good left hook and then has some cage control time. So he's definitely the aggressor in this round. Oh, able to get out. man. Ooh, he went for the jump knee on the entrance there. <laughs> narrowly misses. We're talking about a game of inches there. Well-timed front kick there from Jay. He's definitely a fresher fighter. Muhammad's starting to show a little bit of fatigue, reacting to feints very hard. Yeah, you're talking about how much this can take out of you, fighting for these takedowns. Yeah, already is defending. It's draining him as well. but trying to get the takedown is a little bit more energy, and then once you finally solidify, there's that moment of, of, of relaxation. But Trawali really putting a lot of effort into these attempts, into this clinch position, and not really having anything to show for it just yet. See if he goes for broke on this Kimura. It's gonna be tough. You can maybe use it to make the guys bail. There's 10 seconds left here in this round. It, it wasn't the prettiest, but I think Muhammad actually had the better moments in round two. And correct me if I'm wrong, Cody, he had, he had the good left hook. Yep. And he did have the cage control time. Yeah, he was using that clinch position to his advantage. He was keeping all already stuck for a while. Didn't do much with it, but like at the same time, you know, well, what did Jay do in that time? Yeah, it's threatening takedowns the whole time. I mean, the, the shots that Jay's able to land there are just, you know, over the top, little kind of stay busy shots, not really anything too damaging, so. Potentially a, could be a, a toss-up round there, but and like it all depends on what the judges if, think. If your fighter has a close round, you can never assume you want it. That's just how game plans. That was a good left Big hook left there hook, from yep. Mom. So, you know, if, you, if, if you're Jace Corny, you say, hey, it's 1-1. One, one. you got to win the third, but you don't got to finish. You don't have to take crazy risks. Big and honestly, feet. if you're Muhammad's corner, you may say, hey, not only do we got to win the third, but we may need a may finish. May need a finish, yeah. We'll see what type of adjustments get made here from round to round, headed into the third and final round. 
I think Jay being the, the younger, fresher fighter will play a factor, but Muhammad's still very much so in this fight. Yeah, so far this fight very much living up to the hype, living up to the anticipation. Third round underway. You know, Jay had his best moments, standing orthodox, throwing that 1-2 that and that 32. If they'll kick at the same time, Jay got the better of the positioning, which resulted in a, a knockdown. Oh, big left hand. Good yeah. get up there from Muhammad. It was good and physical. Looked like Jay was struggling for a moment there to think if he wanted to engage or let him up. Uh, yeah. Oh, big right big hand. Big right hand. As Trawali changes levels, looking for the takedown again. It's the left hand there of Muhammad. Got, he can't settle here. This is a mistake, settling here. He had a chance in the transition from the front headlock grip to this body lock grip to get up, and he stayed on his knees for just a split second. If he can get up now, he may be able to salvage that timing error, but if he lets Jay settle on his back, I mean, that's catastrophic to winning or losing this round. Yeah, just two minutes left. One minute already expired here in this third and final round. Jay Alderetti working his way Try and get on the back here of Muhammad Trawali. This is good work here from Jay. Nice, those knees to the floating ribs, man, they're rough. They feel worse than you think. They're calling for a suplex. I think Trawali heard it because he really settled his weight right there. Oh man, big takedown there yeah. from Jay though. Able to get the lift in return. Can he make his way to get both hooks here off of that? Nice, this is where a good fight camp can really come in clutch. It's the third round, it's maybe 1-1 one, one going into three. You gotta go for broke. And Jay is just determined to win it here. Those are good shots. I, I, lifting from here is gonna be very challenging. You can just see how much Trawley's weight is just down. Goes for it oh, anyway. Does, again. Gets another return. Despite the resistance, he's able to score there. And look at Jay, looks like he'd fight five more rounds if he needed to. Just riding him out. I think that's smart too. Watch, we'll probably see Jay break and start to punch when there's a little less time left. Yeah, just under 30 seconds now. Looking to get reversed. I'm sorry, looking to get a reversal is Trawali. Oh, like Jay's in on a choke. Here. Jay's in on a choke. Gets under the chin. It's good. Oh, he's there's tapping. The tap. there's the wow. Tap. wow. With 15 seconds left in round number three. Jay Alderetti makes his way to the back to get the rear naked choke finish as he flips off the cage. Big submission finish deep into the fight. Wow. Just the, the resilience there, the ability to continue hunting. You stated he might break away here and, and go for some strikes here in the last moments, but instead chooses to hop to the back, get to the rear naked choke, and with 15 or less seconds, secures the victory. Wow. Highlights are on your screen now. Alex is headed into the cage to have a word with our winner. There's your finish. Gets the forearm across, goes with the palm to palm. Gets the tap. Good show of respect there between these two men. Hard fought battle. Down to the very end. As we talked about, we were both, Alex and I, both looking forward to this fight. And it sure did deliver. Wayne's inside the cage now. Let's make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Patrick Patlon calls for a stop to the fight. Two minutes, 47 seconds into the third and final round. Deliver your winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. Jay Crack All Trading.
All right, guys, I'm here with winner Jay. Jay, excellent job. I'm sure most of you guys know, but this, this youngster is still in his high school years. 2-0, found the finish late in the third. Man, how are you feeling right now? My moms are tired as fuck. I was trying to keep that real nigga joke, but he was tough. But uh, we're going to stay active, chase that title soon. Very cool. This fight was at a catch weight at 130. Did a great job making weight. What weight class can we expect to see in on your next jury fight? Oh, it's 125. Though. I don't know if he couldn't make weight. I don't know what to do with but 125 is my weight class. I'm gonna take that over. Go up to 35, take that one over. Go pro. Y'all see me in the UFC soon. Yep. Awesome, I believe it. Who would you wanna fight again next? Hey, I, I, hold on, man. I done told you, Dragon the Villa, wherever you are. I want Dragon the Villa. I don't know if you don't want it, but I'll, I'll take him in uh, July, San Antonio. I think that's when he's fighting. I want that card. I wanna, get, I wanna fight him. He's not touching that title before I do. Man, that would be an excellent fight. Cannot wait to watch it. Everyone, your winner, Jay Aldretti. Jay Craig Aldretti picking up the win here, deep into the fight. Getting the rear naked choke finish. About 13 seconds left on the clock.